Hey everybody, Casey here. Welcome back to Family Guy, the quest for stuff. What is this? Too many griffins in the kitchen. Ends April 4th, so we've got a brand new major event that's going to be available basically for a month. It says here that Peter's taking his cooking on the road and starting his own food truck empire. Help him whip up five-star dishes and leave the customers hungry for more. I also looked on the loan screen if you don't know it yet, and there are costume skins. There is a certain celebrity chef dude, very popular, won't reveal who they are just yet. Or do up though. So I know I saw a dude with the pizza. Ah, or dudette with the pizza. And we'll tap you in a second. Oh, we got spaghetti as well. Am I right? Man, the food trucks in Quahog suck. Peter, there are no food trucks in Quahog. You've just been stealing people's Hickory Farm packages from mail trucks. Well, then I should start my own food truck. Good thing I know tons of recipes that call for stolen, shippable meats and cheeses. Learn about the cooking. Learn about feeding customers. That's what the pizza's for and the spaghetti and all sort of stuff. Open up Papa Peter's. <laughs> Dad, I don't think anyone's going to want to buy food from your truck. The world wants to put on my chef clothes. There's nothing that says I'm qualified to handle your food like a heavy sweat drenched coat covered in mystery stains. Also, I like the little breast pocket. I know it's supposed to hold the thermometer, but I'm going to put a breadstick in there for hand-free munching. Don't people use pens too? They put pens in the thing? I mean, that's for dress shirts. But still, create the Chef Peter outfit. Alright, so we'll look at that at the end of the video. Let's actually learn about the cooking. Chef Peter has opened up his Papa Peter's food truck, combined ingredients together to create dishes. So there is, looks like wheat, cheese, makes pizza. Then we have to cook it, which is pretty cool. And there's different types of dishes, it looks like. And I just have to wait for it to be ready to be served. So there's a wait time. Pretty neat way of doing it, actually. Learn about feeding customers. So they're hungry. There is spaghetti. There is the pizza. Fulfill customers' orders by cooking the requested dishes at the food truck. When the dishes are ready, deliver it to the hungry customers. So this actually seems very similar to past Family Guy events, but also like those cooking mobile games as well. Well, you know, you have to make different items and you have to give it to them and they have to wait for it to be finished and all sort of stuff. Finally, we have to open up Papa Peter's. How much is this going to cost for the coins? Nothing, apparently. It costs zero, which is quite interesting. Also, I didn't actually look at this area, but there is the Papa Peter's food truck. What else we got? What is that? There's a fresh farmer's market. There's like a picnic area or whatever so you can eat the food. There's a lobster truck, a sushi truck, taco truck, and then of course there's Peter's. Peter, I've done some thinking. Instead of calling you an idiot for the millionth time, I'm going to let you do this as long as you let me be your partner. Sure, that sounds like fun. It does. I thought for sure that would make you not want to do it. Alright, I guess we're stuck doing a stupid food truck. Let's go. Thanks for agreeing to be the delivery boy for my new food truck, Joe. My pleasure. What are you going to call it? Papa Peter's. Because it's Italian food, but not real Italian food. Hey, do you have any idea where I can find eyebrow dye? I'm going to film a commercial and I want to look as off-putting as my food. Sure, whatever, man. Get one bag of flour, block of cheese, make the pizza. Obviously, different characters will get the drops. But we got more stuff. Brace yourselves, because I have got big news. You're looking at the delivery boy for Peter's new food truck. But Papa Peter's is already a restaurant on wheels. Why does it need a delivery boy? Ha! Bonnie, food trucks don't deliver food. Where's your head been? Sorry, I'm married to a food truck delivery man. It's just been questioning every life decision I've made. Create the delivery boy Joe outfit. So there's another costume skin, I'm assuming, because it says outfit. But let's go back to this. How do I get the flower? That's wonderful. We have got baked brownies, which is lowest. It's a three hour quest, so there's that. Oh my goodness, well, I don't know about that. I'm not smart enough to be here. There's Chris. I can't do that. 
Today's the big day. Who's Bruce? Too dirty. And that appears to be it. What about the cheese? Can I help you? Mort. Oh my. What's up, fools? Jerome. Uh -huh. Oh, hey there. Herbert. Don't you worry. And I assume that's it as well, Tweech. Yes, indeedy. Make the pizza! Wait, where is the make the pizza anyway? Is that at the food truck? Yeah, it's probably at the food truck. Let's just actually tap this. So this is what they were talking about where you had to get the ingredients to make the item and then you gotta wait. So we got the pizza which is an hour and a half. We're gonna need one flour, one cheese. The pasta is two flour, one tomato. How do I get the tomato? Get from the XXX large pizza, make Peter add a special ingredient. So can I actually do this? What happens if I go to Peter? Okay, he actually requires getting the chef outfit first. And I'm gonna assume that... That the large pizza is probably premium? No, there's crafting as well. The prize booth. Oh, I missed the prize booth, which is right here. Okay. What do we got here? What kind of truck is this? Eat my junk truck. So I need nine tickets and four, I don't know what that's supposed to be, soft served ice cream or gelato or something. How do we get these tickets? Get this by completing achievements. Get by clearing pasta or pizza customers. We've also got a build and the drops two aprons, a wheat silo, a hat, a thing that keeps the pizzas warm, and tomato! Let's go to these achievements. And complete family guy part one, so let's claim that. Hooray! I did it! That's cool. These are all the other ones as well. In seven days, if I get the Joe outfit, I will get 40 clams. You go down the list, make pizza. Eat my junk truck. So basically, do the main quest line, clear the pizza and pass to customers, make sure you're crafting different things, and you'll get all these. The grand prize will be Welcome to Flavor Town with Guy Fieri, or however you pronounce it. Probably didn't say that correctly. But let's go to the inventory. So there they are right there. Guy Fieri, or Guy Fieri. Maybe is that how you kind of pronounce it because he's Italian, right? Pizza delivery scooter, there's Chef Peter, and these are all the different items available for the crafting. As we go down the list, there's Delivery Boy Joe, there's the Wheat Silo, and that's it. So let's look at the characters, shall we? Chef Peter requires 10. Chef Coates, Quagmire, film a cooking show pilot, Lois, and that appears to be it. How long? Four hours. How's it going? Two hours, hey, that's great. We got 24 sticks of butter. And these are from getting the pizza customers, and that is it actually. Not the pasta, just the pizza. They are also common. 27 chef hats, are these from the pasta? No. Chef hats are common, Peter dressed like a chef. Eat my junk truck. That truck is the first one that you saw earlier on that I'm gonna have to craft first. Can I actually do this though? Or is Peter busy with the uh, getting the food ingredients? You should tweet that. He's not. Good. We'll do that. Four hours. And finally we got the aprons. Uncommon. Mom's Spaghetti Factories. That's, I think it's going to be the second item that we have to craft. But on to... Delivery Boy Joe. What do you require? 78 pizza flags. Achievements, basically. We've also got eight biker gloves, pasta customers. So the pizza customers are for Chef Peter. The pasta customers are for Delivery Joe. Pizza warmers, 27 of them common. Quahog Mini Mart. Stinky Cheese Shop. Well, it's actually good that we can use a normal building that's in the game already. Ah, never mind. I thought I had a whole bunch of duplicates of the Quahog Mini Mart, but I don't. I had the National Bank and I had some other one as well. I think it was a furniture store. And I don't think we can actually get duplicates of it. 
for the Koag mini mart. I'm pretty sure you can't. Doesn't appear that I can get more duplicates. Maybe you could at one point, but it doesn't appear that I can put any more down now. So it's going to take a bit of a grind in order to actually get those done. The final item. Delivery hat, Jerome. Flavor Town City Hall, and it is... Well, I don't know, actually. I'm unsure of how long it's going to be. Basically, to summarize, always make sure you do the main quest line for the week. When you're doing this, you'll get things along the way. Well, for example, you'll have to craft different things. These are the things you got to craft, different uh, buildings and, and things of that nature. Make sure you have to get the ingredients for the different items like the pizzas and the pasta. Then, of course, you got to wait for them to finish. You take those. You scroll over and you click IE pizza if you crafted the pizza. Pasta if you crafted the pasta. They drop different things. Like the biker gloves, the uh, ice cream thing. The stick of butter and the ice cream thing. That's it. So give a like to you in the future for Chef Joe, which will probably be first. Then the delivery boy Joe. And like usual, when I get any of that stuff, I would definitely have some videos out for you. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. My name is Casey, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye guys.